Welcome to video number six. And in this particular video, we're going to talk about how to set up an error and redirect page. So did you know that you could be losing traffic when people land on certain areas of your website that don't exist? In other words, over the time and over the years of maintaining your website, you'll have pages and elements, videos, zip files, whatever that will disappear on your website. And what will happen over the years is they will be indexed by Google. And if somebody clicks on that through Google and they come to your website, it will lead to a what we call a 404 error page. Now, think about it for just a second. If you were that prospect and you clicked on a link and it went to a 404 error page, what does that first impression give you? Most likely it gives you the impression that the site is not maintained or maybe it's not really very professional, right? In that case, what it'll do is it'll be detrimental to your reputation. So you don't want that. Instead, what you want is you want people to be redirected to either a page that actually works or a specific page that you want all the traffic to be redirected to. And this is where the 404 error page comes in. Fortunately, on the cPanel hosting panel, you can actually specify where you want all this traffic to go. So in other words, what if you could redirect all that traffic back to either the main page or a working area of your website? Well, that's what you can do. And in this video, we're going to show you how to create that 404 error page. And we'll talk about the other types of error pages as well. So what you want to do is find the title that says error pages. So don't worry about the icon we can even do a search on that. So we can do a search on error. There we go. Uh, that's not the metrics though. It's, it's not going to be under there. It's going to be error pages or it might be four or four zero four pages. So we have edit common error codes or show all HTTP error code. The 404 is the one that's not found. So that's what we're talking about. Anytime we delete a file, a page or anything like that, that's generally where somebody's going to come in to access your site from Google or, or a site that has been indexed. And the next thing after that is to enter some HTML code that tells the system to redirect to whatever page that you decide. Now, I'm not going to expect you to understand HTML code. I could go through here and tell you to pause it and just copy it. You could do that. Or you can simply go to google.com and do a search for HTML meta redirect, get the code, and then just enter the code as you can see here. And sometimes you'll have stuff in the body. You can remove that. You can change the title, but basically it's HTML. There's a head. There's a title and then there's meta head body. So you can pause the video and just do that or do the other way, but just make sure that the, when it says meta refresh content equals zero, zero means that it'll redirect immediately. If there's like a number in there, it'll wait how many seconds. So if there's number five in there, it'll wait five seconds before it actually redirects. And then of course, as you can see here, I'm telling it to redirect to Google, google.com. But in your case, it's going to be HTTP colon slash slash your domain dot com. And that's what it's going to be. And when you're done, you click on save. And any time anyone goes to your domain dot com slash some random URL and the, instead of going to an error page, they are redirected to your main page or whatever URL that you want to redirect them to. And that's it. 